Hello, happy spring break to those of you who get to be on spring break now. I'm feeling so, so happy to have this time. I just made it to the Cowichan River, headed to the, so beautiful, the colors are green in there. I'm headed to the Cowichan Shire to celebrate a uh, sister's birthday the day after uh, St. Patrick's Day. And so, yeah, I'm feeling like a lot of um, stirring in people, that especially with people with Irish lineage, a lot of questions and so what is this day and um, to them and what, what it's stir really what I want to share is how grateful I am for the healing opportunities that can happen on a day like this and um, You know, without uh, staying away from like the good, St. Patrick was a good man, he was a bad man. You know, oh, these are lies. You know, what happened? Regardless of all the stories, is that it's real. Our Irish blood is real and our ancestors are alive in us and we feel these wounds. And especially, I'm speaking for the women here. I am speaking for the, the granddaughters and the daughters of the Magdalene Laundries. I'm speaking for the women that were killed at the hands of who knows? St. Patrick or whoever else, whoever he was working for and made a, made a, a face, you know, he was a face for this, this movement, you know, whoever it was that locked up the women in the basements of the laundries in Ireland. And, and what, what I'm asking for is how wonderful it would be for an acknowledgement of this and an, a, a, maybe an apology you know, in the way that our government has started. Oh, there's a lot of action down at the river. Um, in the way that our governments have also like addressed what was happening here with the residential schools. Um, yeah, maybe that would be really helpful. But in the meantime, it's our responsibility as women or people of Irish ancestry to do the work, to the wor do the work of healing. And this is an opportunity for us to really connect in with those wounds that we may feel. And I love it. I love the opportunity that we can have to, uh, Ireland was like, it stood for the matriarch. It was about the matriarchy, the land being the mother earth and the women. I went on a pilgrimage there maybe like eight years ago or so. And there's a lot of yelling happening there, so I'm just moving about. So, the opportunity that we have to connect with the patriarchy and help move forward in our healing with it. When I say connect, I mean, do we have forgiveness? Can we find that in our hearts? And I know that the coming of the new people, maybe this is another video, but this is about being a bridge. My father was a pagan and my mother was a Christian. And I feel I'm here as a, I'm standing on the bridge. <laughs> I feel like I'm, you know, very deeply in union with the goddess Bridget. And she was um, the goddess in Ireland who, yeah, she was protected the sacred wells. So there's St. Bridget's Wells that you would go to. And whoever St. Patrick was, his name is on those wells. He, the name of Bridget was taken off and his name went in her place. And so, yeah, I'm just sharing that. <laughs> and I'm also sharing that today, this day, it feels like an opportunity for great healing. Every, every, you know, time that St. Patrick comes around and stirs people up and all snakes days and all the different things. And yes, we know there was no snakes in Ireland. And 
<laughs> but they represented medicine and the medicine people. Hmm, this is part of our history. And there was a her story as well. So I just got some amazing news. And as I was sharing about this day just being really powerful, especially for um, women of Irish um, descent, is that my sister just, my star sister just had a baby <laughs> last night uh, in Costa Rica. We're still really closely connected. And I just ran into her sister on the street and got to find out the news directly from family. And so that felt so good. I was at her baby shower online um, just after the Envision gathering that she played at in her full pregnancy and connecting with her then. And um, yeah, her baby girl, Sonica, was born on this day, March 17th. And um, I'm very connected to Astaria in the, in, through our Irish um, lineage. Um, and I used to live with Astaria. And she'd come downstairs and she said that I would like look like her mom or almost be like channeling or sounding like her mother. I feel super honored for that. As, uh, yeah, as her mom is in spirit. And uh, yeah, so her lineage came from Northern um, Ireland as, as well as, as my Irish um, ancestry came from um, near Donegal in Armagh, Northern Ireland. I gotta get going. I gotta go celebrate my friend's birthday the way <laughs> and we'll continue these conversations i just really wanted to share that and funny enough it was on this bridge thanks for watching